Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be your Do They Miss You Love reading. This will be a general reading for those wanting to see if a special person from your distant or recent past is missing you, is thinking about you. This won't be for the faint-hearted because this is for those that are genuinely curious to see if this person is thinking about you. Uh, just a quick reminder, I am going on a break for private reading, so if you'd like to book one in, uh, a personalized reading for yourself, my email list of prices and services are below this video. Thank you so much for being a part of the journey here, Sag. You do have three cards that have fallen out. I wanted to pick out three cards, and here they are. Okay, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment, and the Two of Cups. Very, very powerful cards here. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles might be an Earth sign for some of you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, that might be coming through. So this message associated with this card may be more heightened if you have been dealing with an Earth sign X or someone from your past. Uh, now, what's interesting is about the Queen of Pentacles is that she's deeply mature, um, she's reconcilable, she's understanding. So I feel like this person is clearing themselves of bad blood. So if there was any bitterness or angerness, this person has definitely come above it. It's not the King of Pentacles, but the Queen is not far off. So A, that shows that this person has grown a lot. It's all about evolving and growing. The Queen of Pentacles has been through it all. She's the last queen of the deck, okay? So she's got some powerful experiences behind her that have shaped her uh, to be the person that she is. And the person that she is is one of compassion and growth and learning. She comes, she emerges from the tree of life. So I do feel for some of you there might be an earth sign that feels like you are a part of their journey or that you may be a part of their journey in the future. You've got a very powerful card that has come up next to this person here, Sag, which is the Two of Cups. It is a twin flame union here. Um, it's the two interwoven trees. I believe there's a Greek myth. Uh, I cannot remember the name of it. I think it's, is it ba Bacchus? Bacchus and... Uh, they were a couple. Anyway, long story short, they were a couple. They were approached by the gods in disguise. They took them in. They looked after them. Um, essentially, their love was so strong. Um, when they passed, they became trees that were inter interwoven with each other, intertwined. So the notion of growth and the tree of life has come up twice. This is powerful, he said. There's someone that believes you were their twin flame lover, and they will come back again almost I mean, for a lot of you, maybe for 80% of you, this person will come back uh, because they see they've grown, they've changed, they've evolved. Judgment is all about karma, understanding, uh, metamorphosis. The, the butterflies are here. The flowers are in full blossom. Uh, look, there's someone that might have been feeling a little bit judged or might have felt they were too judgmental. But I feel like whether it's through regrets or remorse or reconciling, they've grown from that. They're changing as a person here, Sag. This is a very powerful thing. I think your disconnection might have had something to do with this, the evolving of this person. Now, judgment is also seen as um, having a good judge of character or finally understanding or taking a situation for what it was. It can be about acceptance. It can be about understanding where we went wrong, what we did wrong, what we could have done better. So this person, there could be self-judgment here as well. This might be internal. Judgment isn't always just because the angel here is elevated and she heralds with the trumpet. It's not always judgment that's passed to another. So this person, A, in one way might feel judged or B, it could be very, very judgmental about themselves, himself or herself. But they're open. This is openness to judgment. This is finally understanding. This is cluing in on things uh, and understanding the way things happen and why they happen the way they did. But there's definitely someone who's still very much attached or very much in love because that Two of Cups, it's a very powerful card, um, absolutely can point to Twin Flames because a judgment card is also a karmic connection. Look, I, I do feel like there's someone that's longing here for you, that is missing you. Um, I feel like with the Judgment card, you know, they're missing your openness. They're missing the excitement that you brought into their life. Um, they feel like it was a karmic connection. 
I, for some of you, I feel like they feel this ended too soon or it ended when it was in its prime. And that's why there might be regrets or a very strong attachment still because the judgment card, there's blue skies, there's a beautiful angel, there's the trumpet, the butterflies, the flowers, nature, everything opening up. This is harmony and bliss, the way it's been captured in this image. So for some of you, this person is... Either A, you had a lot of beautiful memories together and they're missing those memories, or B, the way things ended, ended very quickly, um, and it ended at an actual, you know, a very uh, emotionally evoking time. So it's almost like one minute things were going great, the next minute it happened too quickly. So this is the intertwined beautiful connection that this person is in fact still feeling for you. Uh, very, very powerful. The twin lovers coming together into a powerful union. They see no one else. They only have eyes for each other. They are permanently attached. Uh, this person will always have a thing for you, Sag. This is actually really, really sweet. I'm not sure how things ended. You'll always have a place in their heart, okay, regardless of how things ended. I think for, because it can represent a union, a marriage, if, uh, an engagement, or a very long-term relationship, this might be heightened more so for those, especially um, because it can be cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, water signs can be very, very attached. They can fall in love very, very deeply. Every sign is able to fall in love very deeply, but the the attachments that linger within our lifetimes, it's definitely um, heightened for, for, some, for some of you that have dealt with a water sign. Um, but they're still attached. They're definitely still attached. They're thinking about you. I definitely feel like they're still in love. Um, and they're still hopeful that something can happen in the future, that the two of you can grow and come back into each other's lives, be intertwined once again. It's very, very sweet, he said. Of course, every situation is different. If you feel like you're moving on, then that's that's your situation. But there is definitely someone here around you that feels very attached and is hopeful that the two of you could remarry or become together, uh, come together into a long-term union. Very beautiful, close union here as well. So I will leave it at that, though, Sag. Beautiful reading. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe uh, or check out your other videos. Uh, all the best, and we shall be connecting very soon. Thanks, everyone.